So it's not a surprise that Regnan's ecology revolves around fire because most of Australia's landscapes and vegetation types have adapted to fire in some way. We've had fire in the system for tens of thousands, perhaps millions of years. Part of the reason for that is that it's a relatively dry continent and um, lightning storms come across and ignite fires across the landscape. Um, but of course, 40,000 years ago, humans arrived in the landscape, so we've had Aborigines using fire as a tool to shape the landscape in lots of Australia's vegetation systems. So that's another ignition source that means that plants have had to adapt. Regnans has this Oldilocks ecology, so that likes just the right amount of fire to persist in the landscape. So if you get too much fire, Regnans can be lost from the system, but if you don't get any fire at all, it can be lost as well. But if you get a particular interval of fire, which is around, say, 80 to 200, 300 years, then that's what Regnans, that's just about the right amount of fire for Regnans. And the way it works is that if you get two fires at a very short interval, say after 20 years, these trees that have, are growing really, really rapidly to reach the light haven't actually set any seeds yet. So the whole idea that they grow quickly, set seed, and rain the seed down onto, onto the ash bed after a fire doesn't work. At the other end of the spectrum, if you don't have any fire at all for a very long period of time, the big old trees that you see, just like Gandalf's staff, it's a very old tree, it's probably more than 500 years old, we think. So getting close to the end of its life, if you don't get a fire to create more seedlings, all those big old trees are gonna fall over and what you get then is a rainforest. And the way it works is that um, eucalyptus regnans doesn't germinate in the shade very well. So in the rainforest canopies under these giant trees, um, it's very hard to find a seedling anywhere. Like they just, um, they might germinate, but they don't actually grow very quickly or very much at all because they're shade intolerant. Um, so as a result, if you don't get any fire and the big old trees fall down, you've lost the seed source and you haven't got any little seedlings to replace them. So that particular patch of forest will become a rainforest and there's no more regnans anywhere in that particular part of the landscape. There is fire regimes in these forests which has resulted in a mosaic of different fire ages across these landscapes. So in Tasmania, there hasn't been quite as much fire. So we get a lot more, lot more older age classes in Tasmania. There's still a mosaic. So there was lots of fires in and around Tassie in 1934 and 1898, 1967, like the um, one on Mount Wellington. So that would have resulted in lots of different patches of different um, fire ages. But there hasn't been quite the frequency of fires. It's a bit cooler and wetter in Tasmania, so you don't get quite as many fires. It's a, it's a bit of a paradox, actually, that the regnant has evolved to die in a fire, and strategy is to be killed, rain its seeds down, and grow super quickly to reach the light.